Staying on top of breaking news in Fayette County following two student deaths believed to be caused by drug overdoses. Our WREG's Bria Jones was the first reporter to share the heartbreaking story of 16 year old Alyssa Thorne. Tonight, she continues our coverage from Fayette County. Family says 16 year old Alyssa Thorne died here inside a car at Fayetteville High School of a possible drug overdose. Her father says earlier that day she warned him students were bringing drugs to school. I just want to give her a hug and a kiss and I love her. This photo is a memory Mark Thorne is holding on to. He's desperately wanting to dance with his daughter, 16 year old Alyssa Thorne, who he says was the victim of a possible drug overdose outside Fayetteville High School. It's the hardest thing I think any man to go through, <laughs> and especially over some dope that some kid brought to school. According to the Fayette County Sheriff's Office, a little after 430 Tuesday, two teen girls were found unresponsive in the parking lot. A third teen was taken to the hospital, but has since been released. All the girls ranging from 16 to 17. Thorne says he video chatted with Alyssa earlier that morning. Because you were telling me that the boy was bringing cocaine to school, and I was telling her, don't, don't mess with that. I don't want to have to bury you. That was my exact words to her, and then th that night she's dead. Thorne says the autopsy is still pending, but he believes his daughter died from cocaine laced with fentanyl and wants those who gave her the lethal drugs held responsible. She said, Daddy, I love you. I won't do it. I don't, I don't like the way it does me. Days before the overdose, he says Alyssa, who lived at a foster home, was upset on Mother's Day. Smokes a little weed, you know, she's been through a lot with her. Her mom abandoned her, you know, three years back. He's sending this message to other teens battling drug abuse and peer pressure. It's not worth the pain with or without the drugs. Look now, my daughter's dead at 16 and it could be anybody. She had a lot of hopes and dreams, man, but, but, but now it's just, it's just a dream. Alyssa's family has started a GoFundMe to pay for funeral costs. Tomorrow, there will be a balloon release here at the school at 5 o'clock to honor the young victims. Now reporting in Fayette County, Bria Jones, WREG News, Channel 3.